While many stayed up late to ring in the new year, some still woke up early this morning to start the, the, the year in a really brave way. <laughs> Erica Ferrando went to the North Shore for the annual Iceman Dip and Dash. On your mark, get set. 39 people in Mandeville started their new year with a run. But this run is a little different. It kind of takes your breath away. Because after running two miles from Franco's Athletic Club to the Chifuncta River in Madisonville, <laughs> they take a dive. <laughs> then swim across the chilly river. 55, 56 degrees. Before running another two miles back. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to start the year. It was fun. 14 year old Joshua Dolis was the fastest participant. Feels like a really good accomplishment. The Iceman Dip and Dash is about starting the new year with a challenge. But more than that, Ron Franco says it's about hope. It makes you feel like you can do anything. This event raises money for Team Gleason in memory of one man who helped start the event about 30 years ago. Franco says one New Year's Day, he and three friends decided to go for a run. And we said, you know what, if we were real men, we'd just swim the river. And it was freezing cold. And uh, we did it. And it's been a tradition ever since. One of those men was Donnie Gerald. He was one of these people who was just full of life. Gerald was an athlete, a school teacher, and inspiration to many. Just an incredible person. Gerald was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS, just before his 40th birthday. Even with his illness, he was still teaching classes with a voice box. He died about two years later in 2005. Donnie was a person that inspired me to try to do athletic things that I didn't think I could do. Ever since, the dip and dash has been for Gerald, while inspiring others at the start yeah. of a new year. Yeah! In Mandeville, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. About $2,000 is raised each year for Team Gleason, which supports people with ALS. Beautiful story there.